Hello everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs and today I will cover question 10 in our series regarding statistics. Let's begin. An inspector needs to learn if customers are getting fewer ounces of a soft drink than the 28 ounces stated on the label. After she collects data from a sample of bottles, she is going to conduct a test of a hypothesis. She should use A, a two-tailed test, B, a one-tailed test with an alternative on the right, uh, one tail test with an alternative on the left, or D, either a one or two tail test because they are equivalent. So this question is really asking us about our understanding of one tailed or two tailed tests. So if we have a question as a researcher, if we want to know if something is less than our what we believe our null hypothesis should be, so that would be our 28 ounces, it will be on the left of the normal curve because we have, as I've explained before, we have a uh, mean, and the mean is in the middle of the normal curve, and then anything above that would be above average, and anything below would be below average. We have to understand that we are looking for if the customer is getting fewer ounces of soft drink than the 28 ounces. So obviously we will be looking for what is less, uh, and so less would be on the left side of the curve because that would be a smaller number than the mean. That means that, uh, this might be helpful in the explanation, this means that we are looking for this critical region. We are looking to see if, uh, let's say this mean is 28 ounces right here, so this would be 28 ounces. Anything greater than this, we wouldn't be concerned with because uh, that isn't what we're testing. What we're testing is to see if customers are getting gypped and getting less soda than or drink or whatever than what they paid for. So we would test in the left region. Uh, if we tested for both, we would just be testing for a variance. So if we did a two-tailed test, we'd say, is it different than 28 ounces? If uh, we wanted to see if there were more than 28 ounces or if there was more fluid than 28 ounces, we'd be doing a right-tailed test. So a left-tailed test, or searching on the left side, would be searching for less than. So think left, less than. Um, so I hope this helps. I'll make another video with regards to a normal curve distribution and the left tailed, right tailed test. But the most important thing to get here is that left will be testing less than, which is fewer than the 28 ounces. A right tests greater than, and if we use a two tailed test, then we're testing is there a difference from our predicted uh, mean? So is it greater than or less than uh, the 28 ounces? So since we're looking for fewer than, the answer would be C, a one tailed test with an alternative to the left. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, write on my Twitter or write in the comments below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer anything. I'm here to help. Have a great day. Bye.